Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest report from the Financial Express, Germany is offering the next generation submarines to India to jointly build six conventional submarines under Project 75I. While there is no official confirmation, the talks over submarine which took place during German Chancellor's recent visit to India. However, it is being reported that the German submarine offer is at the final stage. It's being reported that German has offered its HDW class Dolphin 2 submarines, which is equipped with fuel cell based AIP system. Indian Navy already has experience of operating German submarines. The Sishumar class submarines, which is currently in service with Indian Navy, is a variant of Type 209 submarines developed by German Yard. HDW having displacement of 1850 tons. Indian Navy currently operates four Shishumar class submarines. Talking about the Dolphin class submarine, it is a diesel electric submarine developed for Israeli Navy and constructed by TKMS of Germany. The Dolphin 1 was Israeli version of German type 209 submarines whose derivative Shishumar class submarines are even operated by Indian Navy. Israel currently operates three Dolphin 1 class of submarine and two Dolphin 2 class and one more under construction. Dolphin 2 is the largest undersea craft built in Germany since the Second World War. The Dolphin 2 class submarine is integrated with fuel cell based AIP system which significantly increases its submerged endurance. The submarine has approximate length of 68.6 meter pressure hull diameter of 6.7 meter and surface displacement of 2050 ton. The submarine can host 36 crew. Dolphin 2 is having speed in excess of 25 knots and tested at a depth of 350 meters. Its weapon include 10 swim out torpedo tubes which includes 4 650mm diameter and 6 533mm diameter torpedo tubes. It is also integrated with a new state-of-art combat system. Its weapon expulsion system allows submarine to launch torpedoes, missiles and mines from the weapon tube set. Besides the high firepower, this class of submarine provides a very high degree of automation of controls of the propulsion plant, navigation and handling of the boat. Now, the German firm TKMS is also working on new submarine for Israeli Navy, which will replace the Dolphin 1 submarine in service. On 20th January 2022, Israel's Ministry of Defense officially contracted TKMS to construct three diesel electric attack submarines at a cost of Euro 3 billion. This submarine is being called as the Dakar class submarine, which features a new design. Now, if Indian Navy is looking for collaborating with Germans, which is the strongest contender, it must go for the Dakar class design. According to the computer-generated rendering released by TKMS, the design of the Darker class appears to be similar to Dolphin class submarine and the concept art of Type 212CD submarine, which is currently being built for German Navy and the Royal Norwegian Navy. Now, this submarine will have length greater than 80 meters, which will make it longer than Dolphin 2. It has additional space for deploying the unmanned underwater vehicles (UUVs) or unmanned aerial vehicles UVs. While the details about the armament of this class is not revealed, but it has been reported that apart from its torpedo tubes, the submarine will incorporate vertical launching system capable of firing submarine launched ballistic missiles or submarine launched cruise missiles. The darker class would be second class of conventional powered air independent propulsion equipped submarine capable of carrying and launching ballistic missiles. The first one is KSS-3 submarine operated by South Korea, although it carries ballistic missile in its hull and not in its sail. The inclusion of an enlarged sail in darker class along with the hull will enable submarine to carry UUVs, SLBM and SLCM. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.